to Mariposa Will and Mills Needle Felting Basics and Kit Instruction. For those of you new to felting and deciding to try a new craft, let me give you a small intro. Basically, felting is causing wool fibers to intermingle and knot together. This can be accomplished in a couple ways. Wet felting is one way, hot water, little soap, and a lot of friction. The other way is needle felting with which I will demonstrate later on in the video. Felting needles have barbs and uh, they grab on to other fibers, to the wool fibers, as it's poked into the wool, causing this intermingling of felting. It always is best to use a surface, such as a foam or a rice pad, um, because the needles are very sharp. This kit provides all needed supplies to start this new, fun, easy hobby. Let's get started. Okay, let's begin. Now in this painting, as always, I'm going to just block out, block out the colors in a rough way, rough fashion. Like where where do I want my rock to be? Where would be my my horizon line? Different things like that. So I'm just you just block out, preferably using the dark undercolor, and then you can layer the light color on top. So you're looking for definition. So I'm just attaching the, the wool to the mat, just in a rough fashion, just giving it a quick poke, creating my shape, and then I'll give more attention to it as we go along. No worry of over felting at this point for sure. So when you're adding the colors, just add them, just pinch and pull, so really thin. And then changing the direction of your needle so you're not creating a, a block of shape. You just want, uh, you're spreading out the fiber. So use the needle to spread them out.
I'm going to create my horizon line. Gonna just you just decide where you want it. It's it's up to you. It's your painting. out the shape of the rock. So to create the, the blended edge between the darker blue and the lighter blue, you apply the, the wool in a very thin, thin way and you spread out the fibers with the needle. By pushing the fibers away from possibly a central area, so you want to spread them out, give it that feathered look so that the colors can blend together.
some pinching and pulling and just if I want to sp spread them out, spread out the, the fibers here. There it is. I use the needle to do that. So in the waves, there's some heavy, heavy areas and maybe on the, in the wave, at the top of the wave where the, the white would be. You can allow the fibers to create that by just working on the edges and leaving the center part more fluffy. Though you still need to felt it, you still need to give it some attention, but just not as much as maybe the areas that are more flat. So I'm using really thin pieces and I'm working in a horizontal way because that's uh, the nature of the water. So I'm using the variations of three colors in the waves. The matte itself, the lighter blue, and the white. Actually four colors, sorry. And the seafoam. So if you, if you want to create the line like at the lighthouse and you wanted a straight edge, so I start with the more uh, 
tapered edge of the wool, anchoring it down, and go down as far as I want, and then I flip it back up. So then it has that harder edge uh, created at the bottom. And that's just a little trick. So blocking in the color of the lighthouse, you can add the detail once you get the main color in. So when I'm applying this, those black areas, it's very, very small, very, very tiny pinches of wool.
So you apply the clouds just like you do the rest of the fibers. If you want it thin, then you keep layering it until it's to the thickness that you want, starting off with very little. And pushing the fibers wherever you want them to go. If you want them to be thin and blended, then you do it, you poke very gently. And this is the completed painting. Thanks for watching Mariposa Will and Mel Felting Basics Kit Instruction Video. So continue felting and to replenish your felting needs, come visit us at the farm market or online at the link on your screen. Stay tuned for more felting fun.